All right, welcome everyone. This is the first installment of the videos I'm going to do. It's going to be the alum base tanning method. And uh, right here is the recipe we're going to use. It's uh, three gallons. It's, it's a recipe for three gallons of water. You use a cup of salt, two and a half cups of alum, and two thirds of a cup for uh, of uh, washing soda. And that's just to uh, clean it up a little bit. So. The idea is uh, this is a one mix. Um, well, watch the video, you see how I do it. But um, there's probably better ways to do it, guys. But this is how I'm doing it. So consider that like a disclaimer, okay? This is about fun and uh, maybe learning a little bit about tanning. And if you read the description, you'll see the whole purpose of these series is for a young lady named Alyssa who is dealing with a very difficult uh, condition. So uh, read the description, and uh, without any further ado, let's do this. Right, so this is it for all my materials. Uh, these uh, little uh, coffee things, they just have some wash and soda in it. And then here's a bucket, a five-gallon bucket I have full of alum, it's alum sulfate, aluminum sulfate. You can get this in bags from like Agway, a lot of uh, feed store type have it because it's used for... Um, uh, like fertilizers, you know, it's used for growing things. And then this is just salt. This is non-iodized salt. I've heard different reviews about whether you can have uh, the iodine in it or not. All right, so this is the recipe. It's super simple. It's a cup of salt, two and a half cups of alum, two-thirds cup washing soda. And you mix that in with three gallons of water. I'm going to stir it and let it sit overnight. I'm using non-iodized, and this is a large granule salt, but you can use smaller as well. Uh, the iodine is, uh, I've heard different reviews about it. Whether you use iodined salt or non-iodized salt is up to you. But if you use a, a wooden stir stick whenever you're stirring your furs, you shouldn't have any discoloration. But if you uh, use, let me just say, do it safe. Do non-iodized, use a wooden stir stick, and that's it. Those are all the ingredients you need. So, alum, non-iodized salt, washing soda, water. Those are the four ingredients. Other than that, you just need a bucket and something to stir it with. We'll go do this, and if I'm making mistakes, guys, tell me. I appreciate it. All right, let's do it. Uh, this is going to be a series, so if you are not subscribed, do hit the bell. Uh, you know, subscribe and hit the bell so that you can be notified of each progressive video of this series coming out. Half cup, half cup. I'm going to figure that's about a cup of salt. And the other thing, and the next thing on it is two and a half cups of alum. Now, this little jug I have, I actually marked a few lines on it, so I'll use this to measure out the alum because it's fine and I can get it inside here. So I need, uh, with the alum, two and a half cups. That's about two cups. line right down here. There we go. Oh, I'm making a little bit of a mess. I can sweep up here, but if you're doing this inside, just keep a broom close. <laughs> two-thirds cup all right so that's my mixture right there all inside this little coffee cup or a coffee container now this this bucket here that I have I drew some lines on it with my gallon marks I just took a one gallon jug of water filled it up dumped it in wherever the lines or wherever the water level stopped I marked added a second gallon marked it and so on so, in this goes, actually, it's a little bit dirty in there. Let me give it a clean up. 
that's the bucket I'm going to use. I'm going to go ahead and put three gallons worth of water in it. And I'll need two hands to do that because the sink is a little bit shallow. The farmer had an egg sitting here in the soap tray. Did you see that? I just knocked it down right into the sink. I hope you didn't have it there for something special. All right, I need just a little bit more. All right, I think that's it. All right, so we got about three gallons in. The three gallon line is right there. It's swishing around a little bit, but I think I got it. All right. So um, all that's left to do now is mix the chemicals into it. And I'm using that word chemicals because I want you to understand there is a chemical process to this. Uh, you can do a little research to figure out exactly what tanning does to a fur. But suffice enough to say, to point out to you, it is chemicals. You want to use some caution. So we're going to take this outside when we put the chemicals in and stir it up. You'll see that it'll bubble and fizz. It gives like an effervescent kind of bubble to it. And uh, you'll see. It does give off a, uh, uh, you know, there, there's, uh, there, what's the word I'm looking for? It does give off, it, it, it releases, bleh, right? What I'm going to do is I'm making three batches of this so that I have uh, three concentrates of liquid. I might actually do four since I have the bucket. So I have three gallons of water in here. I'm going to put our chemical batch in each one of these buckets, add the three gallons of water to it, and then stir it up. And that way I'll have, I'm going to do four just to make sure I have enough uh, to do all the tanning that we're going to do in this series. So I'll have four uh, I'll have 12 gallons worth of uh, tanning, you know, liquid. should end up with nine gallons of tanning solution. <laughs> Give me a break. Two and a half cups of alum. Two thirds cup washing soda. I'm going to call that two-thirds cup. And a cup of salt. Let's say that's a half cup. Half cup. A cup of salt. Good luck. 
Now if you look in there, I don't know how well you can tell, but it's bubbling. Um, these are, you see the suds there, it is bubbling up. Yeah, this one you can see really good. So this does have a chemical reaction that's going on right now, right? So I'm doing this outside just because um, I've learned from personal stupid experience, do this outside because I don't know if it harmed me or not, but uh, when I smelled that, uh, the vapors got me, right? When the vapors hit me, I started sneezing. So I, of course, stopped breathing it. All right, so that's it. I have them stirred. They're just gonna dissolve up and I'll stir them again before I leave, but uh, I'm gonna let that sit overnight. Mostly because of the the salt, because you saw I have the I have the large chunks of salt. I think they actually use that for in uh, hot tubs or pools or something like that. Oh, look at this. Well, I'm, I'm gonna come back to it, but the farmer I work with from time to time, he's a fruit farmer. He got these apples as deer apples. Can you imagine? Look at that. Look, there's there's a mark. I guess that makes it fit for a deer and me mm. did you see how hard that was I mean that's a crisp apple they were supposed to be for deer and Scott too apparently are good apples all right, so we've got 12 gallons of tanning solution that's uh, just sitting outside right now. I'm gonna stir it before I leave, but I'm gonna stop this video right here. Uh, so now you know how to put it together. Before I totally finish this video though, I do wanna mention again to check the description and do get behind this cause that we're, we're working toward. As a community, as trappers, we're often looked at as a negative, you know, in, in, the, in a negative light. But that's not the truth. The truth is we care. The truth is we want to help. The leakways are going through this. Little Alyssa is battling something that's very real. It's something that if you have a daughter like myself, I would carve my own heart out for her if I could, you know? And I, I know you guys would too. That's what Jason is dealing with. It's very real to him. He's dealing with it right now today. The link below will give you an opportunity to read up on Alyssa's condition. You can find out the details, and I'm going to be talking to Jason about keeping that updated for us. If you choose to make a donation to the family, and I strongly encourage you to, right in there when it says comments, just put in Pencil Tucky Trapper. You can do it anonymously, of course. However, I'd like it if you put a little note in there for Pencil Tucky Trapper, because I'd like at the end of this series to do a little recap and I'll, I'll talk to, uh, you know, at the end of this series, I'll say how much that we know that we've raised to help this family out. Um, most of all, pray for Alyssa. And when you pray, pray boldly. Pray for Alyssa to have a full recovery. I would love to see that little girl jumping on the trampoline and going sled riding with my kids next year. And I know that Jason and Holly would like to see their daughter back on her feet as well. So let's pray for that. Let's get behind this family of trappers as trappers. Let's do this, guys, all right? So the next video, I'll try to have it up in just a day or two. And I'm going to do some live streams. Join me for all of that. Or just stop back from time to time and check in. But be a part of this. This is big. It's important. It's real, you know. All right. Love you guys. Appreciate the support. We'll see you on the next one.